Hi, I'm Joan Marshall, director of the Bryan Museum, and I'm standing in the historic La Serena Bar inside the Bryan Museum. And tonight I'm going to whip up a specialty cocktail for our guest, Julianne Brown, who's director of the Galveston Island Nature and Tourism Council. Julianne's going to be joining me in a few minutes to introduce the film tonight on the Lost Bird Project. So what I thought I would do for this hot summer night in Galveston is a refreshing uh, spritz drink uh, named in honor of the Eskimo Curlew, the Curlew Spritz. And the spritz tonight is going to include Aperol, which is an Italian aperitif, quite famous, that has a bitter, tangy uh, orange flavor with herbal undernotes. And we're going to add Prosecco to that, which is also an Italian sparkling wine. And then just a splash of sparkling water, and tonight I'm going to be using Topo Chico. So I hope you've got your glass at home and will follow along. So first I'm going to put two parts Prosecco into the glass. And actually for Julianne, I'm going to give her a little extra because she deserves it. And next I'm going to put one part Aperol. I love that color. And we're going to stir that around and get it nice and cold. And then I'm going to put a splash of Topo Chico on top. Voila! Julianne, welcome to the Bryan Museum. I've made us a special drink for this evening. It's an Eskimo Curlew Spritz. Thank you. Well, let's try it. Cheers. Okay, cheers to the Eskimo Curlew. What do you think? I love it. Very refreshing. It's really great. Yeah, great. Very nice. Thank you. Well, why don't you tell us a little bit tonight about the Eskimo Curlew and the Lost Bird Project? Well, a six-foot sculpture of an Eskimo Curlew, an elegant shorebird now thought to be extinct, was installed at Galveston Island State Park this spring. This sculpture is a permanent addition to Galveston's thriving public art collection, and mm -hmm. it was commissioned by the Nature Tourism Council. At the same time, a very special exhibit of five uh, extinct bird sculptures was installed in the gardens of the Bryan Museum. This exhibit, along with the Eskimo Curlew, are all part of the Lost Bird Project by artist Todd McGrain. Now you might wonder, how did these Lost Bird sculptures come to be in Galveston? Well, it all started on an evening, much like this one, when several Nature Tourism Council friends got together to watch the film that you're about to see. The documentary follows five North American birds driven to extinction in modern times and Todd McGrain's project to memorialize these birds with these beautiful large bronze sculptures. McGrain and his brother-in-law Andy Stern search for places near where the birds were last seen and then negotiate permission to install the sculptures. Mm -hmm. The Nature Tourism Council found this film compelling and uh, hopeful and we were wanting to know more about the project and we soon learned that Todd McGrain's next sculpture was to be the Eskimo Curlew which had last been seen here on the, Gal on the west end of Galveston Island back in the early 1960s. And so it began. Mm -hmm. Fast forward seven mm -hmm. years and here mm -hmm. we are this evening. Julianne, I think I actually saw that first screening in 2018 at Featherfest with you at Moody Gardens. Yes, we showed it. That, that was the year that we kicked off the, the yeah. campaign for raising yeah. the money. Yeah, this, pro this project is really important about raising awareness uh, about other birds and species that are threatened and endangered at this moment. It's a critical point. Uh, for the environment. Absolutely. And, and the film, uh, as the sculptures do, it's meant to remind us to remember that which we have lost because in the words of Todd McGrain, forgetting is another kind of extinction. Before we get too much further, I do want to thank our other partner in this project, which is Houston Audubon. Uh, they have generously supported the exhibit and the sculpture, so we want to thank them. Absolutely. We also had generous support from the John P. McGovern Foundation, the Bromberg Charitable Trust Fund, the Troll Foundation, and the West Galveston Island Property Association. 
So Julianne, we thought we would have a model, a maquette of the Eskimo curlew here with us today. Um, you want to talk about it? Well, this is one of the first models that uh, Todd McGrain did when he started the Eskimo curlew sculpture. Mm. And I think it's lovely. I, it's just exquisite. What if somebody wanted to buy one of these maquettes? Could they? Absolutely. They would just need to reach out to Todd McGrain. Uh, he's using the funds that he raises from selling these to support his next project. What's next for Todd McGrain? Is there another bird that's going to be... I believe the next sculpture is going to be the Imperial Woodpecker. Well, thank you for joining us tonight, and I hope you enjoyed your cocktail at home. Enjoy the movie. We look forward to seeing you here at the Bryan Museum on the grounds for the sculpture exhibition. Thanks, Julianne. Thank you.